One thing that we kind of uh, did not touch on yet was Mr. Dylan Cease. And I know it was only five and two thirds, but oh my gosh, when he's out there, he's dominant. Uh, one might say all-star caliber worthy. You know, the biggest thing with Dylan tonight, he had that fuck you slider going. And that, I don't know how you even hit that thing. And just the way that he was pairing that in a couple of sequences, I mean, that 98 mile an hour fastball right on the black, lower inside quadrant to Josh Naylor to get him for that strike. And I think it was the third or fourth inning. The sequence that he had to get him right there, he goes slider, slider, and then drops that pitch on him in that spot. Granted, he missed his spot. Sebi wanted it low and away, but he just dotted that thing right in the back. You have no chance. When that slider was going the way it was going tonight, your only hope is that he is going to get himself into trouble by walking guys. And that's kind of what happened. That's what caused his night to be a little bit shorter tonight. He got himself into some trouble there in that sixth inning. But my God, that thing is just electric. It it looks like curveball break, Steve, is what I'm like looking at when I'm talking. You're talking about the vertical drop. And obviously there's horizontal as well. But it's going at the same sort of, at least coming off the hand, looking like the fastball. And that was something that Stone commented on broadcast too, but it's true. And I, I saw, you know, the pitching ninja, pitching ninja loves Dylan Cease, obviously for good reason. But when you go and look at that, like you're, you're replaying it. It's like, sure. We've seen wipe, you know, wiping. Excuse me, yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's the way to describe it with sliders that wipe across the zone. Aaron bummer is a good example of that. When you're talking about something that wipes granted, he comes a little bit more sidearm to three quarters there, but Dylan Cease has the vertical drop on it that makes it look like a curveball, but it's still like 86, 87. And like you said, Steve, I would agree, pretty much unhittable. And I would go and argue you could put it up there, maybe not the best, but one of the most unhittable pitches in the game. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. When he is able to locate that. And the other thing about it, too, is being able to throw it both for strikes and then having a wipeout version of it as well. That's something that Stone talks about, I think, pretty regularly, is if you can have those two kind of variants of a pitch right there, it's almost like having two separate um, pitches in your arsenal right there. So when you are able to do that, my God, as a hitter, I just, again, I don't know how you have a chance against that. Tony, I know you saw some cool and tough shit from Dylan Cease. Your takeaways. I mean, this guy, this guy's just got one of the best fucking pitch arsenals in the game. Let's 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 go through them here. We talked about some of our favorite pitches on a prior episode of this show. He's got every single fucking one of them. 98 mile an hour fastball, fuck you, right on the corner. I'll paint it. I've got command. Want the cease hammer? Go ahead. Take your chance. Slider in the dirt. Looks like it's right over the middle of the plate. Fuck you. I just think that he has everything that you want. You can mix it up. He can go to so many different things. If one is off, he's got that shit that just continues to work because every single time I see this kid take the mound now, he's got two things within that arsenal that are working for him that he can rotate from and even additions onto that pitch arsenal like you guys just both talked about that make him look different depending on how he throws them. This is a different Dylan Cease than we were talking about a couple of years ago. The one thing that I was always big on with Dylan Cease is get yourself through that big inning, and it normally came in the first or the second. He's figured that out. He looks like the real deal. Sure, there's still going to be days where you're going to get vintage Dylan Cease when things aren't working for him, but it seems like nine times out of ten when Dylan, T- Dylan Cease takes the mound, He's got stuff working for him that is going to be a problem for opposing hitters. That's cool and tough. It's ace shit. This kid is the real deal. I love watching him throw baseballs. Yeah, that that slider is really, really coming into play here. And obviously, Steve and I kind of just talked about the different variations of it there. Um, But the usage of that, he, he's feeling so much more confident in it that you see he's using that more than a four seam fastball at this point. We were talking about a certain weird, of the season. yeah, it's weird. It's, yeah, hey, it, you know, Johnny, you bring it, up a very interesting point here, and that's something I was uh gonna save for later here. So let me just go ahead and let me just, yeah, go, yeah, this is the time. This, this is the time. You have the, you have the floor, Steven. Right here, because you know, back on August 19th of 2020, I had a little conversation with uh Stephen Stone as I know many people 
in the realm of White Sox Twitter have. Now, this was granted back in the old and the original NWI underscore Steve Twitter account. I had made some commentary about, uh, you know, Dylan perhaps maybe needing to work backwards a little bit more because the fastball was having some issues, getting knocked around a little bit. Stone's retort to that was, I think you should do exactly what he's doing. He's 4-1 and one with an ERA just over 3. He's 24. How much better do you need him to be? Well, Steven, that season didn't work out particularly well for Dylan after you sent that tweet. And lo and behold, we go this season here. And let's talk about some usage patterns for a minute here. Before his start on 529, Dylan sees 40.6% forcing fastball usage. 34% slider usage, 4.24 ERA, 13.7 Ks per nine, 1.3 whip. Since that 529 start, 43% slider usage, 41.5% forcing fastball usage, 0.53 ERA, 1.15 whip. Steve, for, for people Nasty. who don't for people who don't understand hashtag stats, break that down for me and like just He's I, doing I like, like I, I put it this way. I'm I'm Ken Lowe here, and I, <laughs> so I want, so your I brain doesn't you, function correctly is what you're telling me. I want I want you to just lay that out for me. Is that cool and tough? Is it's it is it good? Cool is it is it good? All right, just it's hashtag confirmed. It's hashtag confirmed. the The basic synopsis of this here is Dylan Cease is doing what we refer to as pitching backwards to get very inside baseball for you there. Now, when you so, say pitching backwards, you're, you're talking about his arsenal because I can yeah. also apply this to how he looks after he got through some of these really tough innings, the Dylan Cease inning. I used to joke about this Dylan Cease in the no good, very bad, horrible, bad inning. He always used to have that. And just like the children's book, it was like everything went from there went wrong. So when I say work backwards, I also think he's taken a different approach to his game almost completely to solve his issues. And I can apply your theories here to a totally different realm of it. I think you're talking more about his pitch arsenal. I am definitely talking about the pitch arsenal aspect of it here, utilizing the breaking pitches really to set up the fastball to put hitters away, which is kind of the inverse of the traditional school thought when it comes to pitching. You look at guys like Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, they're going to rely. And, and Michael Kopech is a great example of that here with this White Sox staff. Utilizing that fastball to get ahead in counts, and then utilizing the secondary breaking stuff to put guys away. Cease has kind of flipped that script here a little bit, and that usage of that slider, that is his best pitch. Let there be no mistake about it. You look at the data. That is his best pitch. That is the pitch that gets hit the softest of all things in his arsenal. Look at that. Right on cue. Our guy Sox and Saints, and he's throwing his best pitch more, and look at the results. Weird how that happens.